Hello, now this is a video requested by Marsh Metro 2033 and he said, could I get two hoses to go into the PBF and get them to work? Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have two identical hoses at the moment, as far as I can tell. At least not ones that pressurise properly. So, what I'm going to do is going to try and do it with two filters. Now, this will make it a lot heavier and it's more likely they'll just pull themselves out using their own weight. I'm not going to do anything really sophisticated and try and put cable ties on the inside or, you know, remould the uh, rubber or anything like that. Now, I think if you wanted to put modern filters into one of these masks, um, to some degree, the easiest way of doing it may be to try and do it with, like, the 3M filters. I think that may actually work. Um, but sadly, I don't have any spare 3M filters. But if I do, at any point, what I might try and do is see if I can actually set this up to, um... Either, the easiest way would be the 3M particulate filters, um, the ones that are just like the pads, because they would literally sit inside the cheeks of the mask. However, if I um, didn't have those, what you could probably do is the ones that are in the plastic cases, you could probably, um, you know, f fit them some ways. They might have to go backwards, but they should still work as a filter, even if they're doing that, um, because there's not valves inside the filter that make the air only go one way. Um, you know, you should be able to get the filter to actually um, act as a particle or a, you know, combined NBC style filter that way, like with an ABEC filter. Anyway, that's that's a video for another day, potentially. What I want to see is can I force these filters in. So these are the Polish ones prior to FP5 filters that were normalised. That doesn't matter, this would work with either GOST or NATO filters. The idea is I'm going to try and force these into the mask and see if they'll stay there. Now, in theory, this should work. So what I'm going to have to do first is open up both of the filters. Now, I've got enough spare, more modern filters, so it's not really a, too much of a shame that I'm opening this ABE filter up, but, you know, it's still, um, uh, it says PSO mask pole on the, um, filter, if that means anything to anyone. Well, no mask pole is the manufacturer of the filters. Right, so there we go. And something always worth noting of these, keep these O-rings, as I've said before, because you can use these to make sort of GP5s or whatever force NATO filters and actually make an airtight seal of them, so do not throw away those O-rings, very important. So, right, what I'm going to try and do, and this might work absolutely horribly, is, um, I don't know if I've opened the cheek sections yet, it might be easiest if I open the cheek sections inside the mask first, so let me just unbutton those. Right, the cheeks are unbuttoned on the mask, so what I'm going to do now is see if by reaching through and sort of doing this, can I force a 40mm filter into the mask? And the answer is yes, look, you can. So the problem is it, it might fall out under its own weight. As said, you could probably secure it inside the mask somehow. And I don't know if this would be airtight using cable ties or something on the inside or glue or whatever. But let's try and get the other one in and see if that works. It's already um, kind of falling out under its own weight, so it might help if I did this on like a table or something that's flat. Let me try and get that back over. Yeah, this is already kind of not quite working as I wanted it to, but... We'll just see for the sake of this video if we could actually get it to work. Because as you can see, it's um, already kind of pulling out. Um, so what I'm just going to do is cut the video a second while I fumble around with these, probably on a flat surface, and then we'll see what we can come up with. Right, the success to some degree. As you can see, the filters are sort of hanging in. Let's see if I can get the last one. Yep, there we go. So until it falls out, this is working as a 40mm uh, mask. As you can see, it kind of pressurises as well. So, let's pull those out. As you can see, they don't stay in very well unless you attach them somehow. But yes, to answer your question, Marsh Metro 2033, it would certainly be possible if you spent enough time and effort um, either getting hoses, which would be easier like your idea, because the hose itself weighs less, so it's not going to pull itself out as much as the filters do under their own weight. Um, that would be possible. 
but what might be possible, I'll give this a very quick try, um, is just seeing, it. can I shove into the cheek filter uh, cavity the filter this way round with this bit facing outwards? Because if I can, um, you've found a way of getting 40mm filters to fit inside a PBF, so let's try it now. Well, I inadvertently just made this, which is a PBF mask turned inside out. It reminds me a bit of, um, I think, the Triffids from one of the, was it the original, like, 1950s film or whatever it was of the day of the Triffids? Um, it looks a bit like that, um, with the weird sort of mouth, but, um, yeah, this is a very interesting thing I've made by accident, managing to turn the PBF completely inside out. Um, so let's see if we can get anything of interest with this, hang on. So, obviously, there's your eyepieces, there's your oral nasal cup. I wonder if it'd be possible in some way to wear this mask inside out, just for shits and giggles. Um, let's have a look. If I put this bit down like that, there's an opening. Ah, uh, that's pushing on down on my eye. There we go. Okay, so that's really weird looking, isn't it? So, this wouldn't function as a mask, but it does look weird. That's quite cool, actually. Back to front PBF. Oh. Yeah, I was just folding it inside out to see if I could get one of those filters in. The answer is I'm not going to get one of those filters to fit in the cheeks, at least without cutting the mask open with a knife. But, um, yeah, this is very strange, isn't it? Um, I've inadvertently created a monster, I think, here. This is definitely going to be the uh, picture for the video, because it looks quite creepy and weird. Um, yeah, and it kind of... Can I turn that around even more? Maybe. That's, yeah, a very strange looking mask, isn't it now? Yeah, interesting. Well, it's completely fogging up, as you can see. But... Yeah, very interesting idea for a video, Marsh Metro, that you came up with inadvertently. Um, getting me to turn a PBF inside out, because, yeah, apparently you can do that because of how the mask is structured. Let's just see if I can pull these cheek filter bits totally out. unfold better that way. I don't know if this is the quite interesting thing with this, but there we go. There is um, a back to front PBF. Hello, I'm a PBF back to front. Like, you know, you can see I obviously can't do the uh... so, but yeah, weird looking thing, isn't it? There is a back to front PBF made inadvertently.